Hey everyone, this is Air Renee. Um, today I'm going to do um, a video about enhancing your knowledge. And also I want to um, share something with you guys. I know a lot of times I do videos, I don't have any makeup, I'm busted, and I'm just being natural. The difference between me and the TV and a lot of the people that do videos is they make themselves up for you. Me, I just keep it real. When you catch me with makeup on, I've been somewhere. And plus, if you see me in the streets, I want you guys to know who I am and not guess, is that her? No, no. I want you to see that this is who I am. I mean, I, you know, I uh, want you guys to know that everything that I tell you guys are that's coming from the heart. And I am uh, a true person. I don't have time to be faking it and have people writing scripts for me. I'm telling you like it is. I'm not living anybody else's life through what I tell you. A lot of times I've seen it. So... It's not that I'm not living their lives. I've seen other people do it and maybe I experienced some of the stuff for myself or I had some of my friends that tell me, but on the same note, I'm not faking it. I don't have someone that's never experienced anything, uh, you know, live in million dollar houses, never walked in the ghetto uh, that hasn't experienced the things that I tell you. It's true to life. It's not fictional. It's not anyone else's uh, make-believe story. It's a lot of things that I'm telling you I've seen for myself or experienced and people came to me so uh, I've been in the ghetto before, so I do know what it looked like. And uh, to be honest with you, seem like some of the people are more happy in the ghetto. But oh, matter of fact, I'm going to touch bases on some of the things about the ghetto as well. Um, if people only knew what the ghetto and the projects actually stood uh, for when they initially made it, for instance, the projects, the projects were made really mainly for the um, the wealthy rich. It was called project as a experience to see what happens when they lose their job and they made these affordable homes actually for the rich and when they were down on their luck you know they would move to the projects to help them until they got back up and then they get back on their feet and they move on so that's what the project was initially for you can look it up and all the information is there um, unfortunately some of us get there and get stuck there and don't try to get out we don't try to enhance our knowledge we don't try to do anything we just stay there. I know some um, people, I'm originally from California, and a lot of the ladies, what they would do is, you know, once that child got 15, they'll have another kid. Once that child got 10, they have another kid. And they would work the system, you know, get that check on the 1st and the 15th and the food stamps and stuff like that. Me personally, I want more out of life there. I mean, how can you save and when you get elderly, older, take care of yourself? A lot of people live for the moment, but they don't think about when you get older, who will be responsible for you and how would you live. So today's topic is enhance your knowledge. As you get older, you don't have to stop enhancing your knowledge. You can continue to go to school. You know, you can go to school online and as well as, you know, go to a night class. Learning doesn't stop when you get a job unless you're on that dream job, unless you own that business. And higher, even if you own that business, you still need to go uh, back to school to see um, what other things that you can do to broaden your business as well as your staff to, you know, to make sure that they have to par with the customer service and how you want them to run your business. You know, a lot of times people in the projects, I'm not going to say people in projects because there are a lot of people that came out of the projects that are successful, but it starts with who's raising you. For instance, when you have kids, you know, you need to pray over your kids and ask nothing but the best for them and for them to have better than what you have. And that's what happens is we lose focus and focus on ourselves and not on our kids. We need to tell our kids, like, for instance, me, I told my girls, hey, listen, you're going to get titles. You're going to have a job title. You Doctors, lawyers, you have, you have so many different varieties to choose from that you're going to get that because if you don't like how you're being treated at a job, you can move on to the next job and you don't have to take that mess as long as you have a title and a license. There's nothing they can do to you as long as you don't break any protocols or rules to lose or get your license suspended. So what I'm saying is we as parents, we as adults need to mentor the younger adults and say, hey, listen, what is it that you really want to do? Back in the day, it used to be fireman, police, nurse, doctor, lawyer. You know, people have so many other choices, you know, like DJs, uh, all kinds of things. If that's what they want to do, that's fine. You know, nail technician, dental technician, all that is good because guess what? It's a title and they can move around and go from place to place and as well as start their own businesses. So we, as the adults, need to instill this in a lot of 
the younger people. You know, we have to really teach your kid from an early age. Like, you know, I try to tell my kids, hey, listen, don't have no kids until you're you're in your 30s. My thing with my girls, my sister, my nieces, listen, you're not having any kids in high school. I want you to wait until you're 30, travel the world, enjoy life, kumbaya. And they were like, whatever. But none of them had uh, kids. Um, while they're in high school, so I give them kudos. They're they're all well to do. They, you know, my nieces and their, you know, nurse. Um, my nieces, my kids, they all have job titles, so I'm proud of them on that. But their personal business, I'm gonna just let that be where it's at, because I'm still proud of them. They finished high school, you know, they're in their twenties, early twenties, and they're all doing well. So I'm proud of them. So they did listen to some of the things I did tell them. You know, sometimes your your kids get around people that uh, don't have anything. And sometimes, you know, you have to take them to the other areas where there are the finer things in life and let them know, even though you stay here, these are the things that you yourself can accomplish and get for yourself by working hard, studying hard, going to school, getting that, that title that uh, pays well, that you don't have to rely on anyone for anything. And like I said, it starts at home. And people don't want to hear about the old school this and the old school that and the mother's strict and the father's strict. Hey, hey, they need to be. You have to set morals in your house for your kids to understand. One, you have to let them know that no one, anyone, nobody owe them anything. If they want it, they have to strive for it and get it themselves. Things are not handed out to them. Even if you are wealthy, you cannot just hand it to them because the things that come easy, they will mishandle. They will throw it to the side and it doesn't matter to them. But when they work hard and they have to get it themselves, they're going to take care of it. So you have to instill some type of goals and, you know, things into your kid's life. You know, it started with me. I'm from California. We lived across the street from, um, uh, we always lived across the street from schools. And this particular school was 75th Street School. And they actually gave us etiquette classes when we were small. We were like eight and nine. How to answer the telephone. You know, what is it that you want to be, you know, write down your goals and try to accomplish them and go back and look and see, you know, what have you accomplished off that sheet of paper that you set back for 10 years. And sometimes you have to do that and that really works. You know, they took time with us. They gave, you know, they gave us the, the tools, you know, for life. But one thing my mom always told us, no one owes you anything, nothing at all. You know, once you're brought into this world, you know, your parents, you know, if your parents keep you, are, you know, they, they, they give you the basic tools and help you, you know, like me, I just said, hey, listen, this is what needs to be done. And this is what you ladies need to do. And, you know, and you have to give.